Testing. Testing. Is, is this working? I'm tired and grumpy, okay? What do you want from me? This time change is killing me. So we're gonna watch um, this Caliban. Come, Mr. Caliban, calling me. Who is it? Pre drag from the OMJ clan. Who invented daylight savings time? Oh, of course there's no sound. Of course there's no, everything's making me grumpy today. Okay? I forgot that when you want to watch a World of Tanks replay, you have to uh, start it again. Because it doesn't work. It's programmed that way. I came back from Hawaii and there's a time change. So I'm tired and grumpy and my, uh, my, uh, my movements aren't uh, uh, at the right time. Did you know that if, like, uh, I'm, I live in uh, mountain time, which no one lives in mountain time. It's either West Coast time or East Coast time. My sister, who came on the trip uh, from Toronto, you know what the time change from Toronto, same as New York time, East Coast time, to Hawaii this time of year? Six freaking hours. Six freaking hours. Because we're on daylight savings time and Hawaii doesn't change because they don't give a flying F because it's always beautiful there. And they're thinking, why the hell does everyone keep moving their clocks? So well, we move our clocks, so like in the winter, it would be five hours time change in Toronto. Three for me, which is not too bad. But this time here, it's four for me, six uh, for someone in, stupid enough to live in Toronto. <clears throat> Why the hell would you ever want to live in Toronto? Like Canada's crowdest shithole. But anyway, <clears throat> I, uh, who invented uh, uh, daylight savings time? Like, Why do we change our clocks? Was it, don't tell me like everyone has the theories, right? No one really knows. They say, oh, well, the farmers wanted it so that you know, they have more time for their, their crop rotations or whatever. But this, the, the farmers didn't want it, right? Farmers don't give a shit about the daylight savings time and moving the clocks. All farmers care about is like whether the, the cows are fed and the, the sheep are roaming. And, and, you know, someone's shoveled the straw. And stuff like that, right? They wake up when the sun before the sun comes up and they go to bed when the sun goes down. They don't give a shit about their watches. I know farmers. Farmers don't care about this. Someone else decided that we should do that. Someone else decided it. You know what it would be a good idea? Now that everyone's relaxed and rested in the world, I think we should do this. I think we should dis disrupt the whole world by uh, just secretly one night changing the time so when everyone wakes up they're either late or early the whole eight billion of us except for some that are smart enough to realize that this is a dumb idea and we're not going to do it anymore like the people in hawaii what who could come up with that idea and why uh, and you know what in uh where i am from they had a referendum on whether uh well, they said we want to have a referendum to uh, uh, stop changing the, the times, right? Stop changing the clocks. Uh, which 96% of the population is uh, agrees that we should stop fucking changing the time on our clocks. 96% of the people agree. But the, 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 the shit for brains that was in charge, government people, bureaucrats that were in charge of doing the... Uh, uh, the referendum to decide whether we stop changing our clocks. They secretly wanted to keep changing the clocks. So when they came up with the referendum question, they didn't, you know, the question wasn't, um, should we stop changing the fucking clocks twice a year? Right? That wasn't the question. Because if that was the question, 96% of people would have said, yes, let's stop changing the fucking clocks uh, twice a year. No, the question was, do you agree that it would be a good idea to standardize on uh, Eastern uh, Daylight Savings Time 365 days out of the year, or something like that, right? They, they picked one or the other, and they, they said, uh, you know, some convoluted way of asking, did, did, should we just 
uh, set it on daylight savings for the 365 dia days in the entirety of the year, blah, blah, blah. It's like a paragraph, right? And no one knew what the fuck they were talking about. So half the, like 53% of the people said, well, no, I don't think we should do that. And so now we, we keep doing it. This is a typical swimming in a sea of BS, a sea of bullshit. This is these stupid referendum, and even that's bothering me now. So I, I don't know. So, uh, how long does it take? I, and then I googled it, and it says for every hour of time change, uh, it takes your body a week to readjust. So I've got four hours of time change that, uh, when I came back. What you know, do you think? Well, four hours of... That's a... I should be asleep now. And then you don't eat at the right time, you're not hungry at breakfast time. It's like when I, you know, when I ordered that, uh, um, uh, my, um, muffin with, uh, uh, egg and, egg and cheese. At that place that I, you know, I worked for years. I worked in a building for three and a half years and every morning at around 9.30 I went downstairs and I would have a great place. A little Asian lady that uh, ran the place with her family, I think, and I would say, "Can I have an egg and cheese on a breakfast, on a muffin?" And she would say, "Egg and cheese on muffin, okay." And she would make it. She'd have a little plastic cup and she'd nuke an egg, put a little cheese, and then and on on the toast the muffin, and it was like two bucks. Great, right? For two and a half years. Every morning at 9:30, I would go there and order it. Until one time, we had a meeting at. Uh, like nine o'clock and the meeting went late and it was like almost 11 o'clock when the meeting was over and I was starving I said I'll just go down and get one now <clears throat> and I got there at about 10 45 and I walked in and this lady that I had seen every day for two years two and a half years every day well not every day because I didn't work the weekends but for five days a week for almost two years or a little over two years I would go down there at 9 30 and ordered that and then today, that day, I went at 10.45, and I said, hey, can I have an egg and cheese on a muffin? And it was 10.45, and she looked at me. You can't have egg and cheese on muffin. It's not breakfast time. It's lunch time, she said. And I went, what? Because I looked at her. You know, it's this little shop, and she had like a bowl of eggs and the cheese and all the ingredients, but I guess it was lunchtime, so they had some bread out and some other stuff that they were making. And I go, well, I'm late today. I had a meeting, and, you know, I love the uh, egg and cheese on a on an English muffin. Can, can I just have one? Can you just whip one up? She says, you can't have egg and cheese. It's lunch time. You order lunch, not breakfast. Like, are you kidding? I've been here for like, I've been a customer for two and a half years. She didn't even recognize me. She was like, you can't have it. It's breakfast time. And I stopped going. That was it. That was the last one. Two and a half years. Right? It was like the time the time warp for me. <laughs> they changed the clocks. All of a sudden, the nice lady and her little family business who I loved and went to uh, every day for uh, a little over two years. Boom! It was over. The relationship ended. It's not breakfast time. It's lunch time. <sighs> Everything makes me grumpy today. So, but, uh, you know, the all, all the bad experiences in your life uh, uh, get to amplified. Why are you staring at this guy? What is this? What's going on? I don't even know what's going on. Do you guys get like that when you travel? My sister, apparently, is up all night. Uh, and in the morning, she's tired now. So, so she's playing more World of Tanks at like 1 o'clock in the morning. It's ridiculous. Going to Hawaii on holiday has uh, made her more addicted to the game. Because now she can't sleep. So, you know, might as well just play the stupid game. How's that? You leave, you go on holidays to relax, to get away from it all, to like uh, uh, unwind, unplug, and uh, regenerate, right? And then when you, because of the, 
you know, the farmers or whoever decided they wanted to change the clocks. Wargaming benefits. How's that for a series of events? How's that possible? Go on holiday, it makes you play World of Tanks more. Wargaming is going to hear this and start encouraging people to take a break and go on holidays. Knowing when they come back, they'll be like playing 80% more. <laughs> they'll be losing credit, so they'll buy a premium tank. Ay, 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 ay. So, you know, that's, uh, uh, I don't know, four weeks? You're going to get four weeks of this before I, uh... What the hell are we even watching? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Should we watch that again? Well, my sister's gonna take her six weeks. Summer will be over. Because <laughs> we're in Canada, right? We get like, what, three weeks of summer? <laughs> Went to Hawaii, now it's summer. She's gonna take six weeks as a six hour time change to readjust. By that time, it'll be winter. <laughs> She's gonna miss the summer. She's gonna sleep. Now that's funny. <laughs> you know, the plan was go to Hawaii, uh, kind of in the fall. <laughs> I know, I know, some of you are saying, what are you talking about, Klaus? It's the uh, middle of July or whatever. I'm talking about Canada here, right? If you leave, or May and June, you leave. <laughs> so when you get back, you're summer, right? For July and part of August. Well, where she's from, in Toronto, the, the crowded shithole, it's like a freezing cold for six months. Uh, then uh, you get about a month or two of mosquito season. <laughs> then you get a couple of weeks where it's nice uh, before the uh, overbearing, ridiculous humidity hits. Uh, where you have to just stay inside uh, with your air conditioning on. Uh, and there's about a month of that. Uh, and then... Um, uh, the leaves change color and fall off and everything dies and you're back to winter. <laughs> and you get to do that uh, in traffic. In a, in a crowded city full of traffic. It's, it's really fun. You should go there. You should move there. <laughs> they call it vibrant. <laughs> I live in a vibrant city. Which is like... A, a code that uh, real estate agents use to say it's a shithole. <laughs> Vibrant city? Code for uh, I live in a shithole, right? Why the hell anyone would want to live where four other million people are living? Like, can you list four million people that you like? Why the hell would you live near them? <laughs> it's convenient. I get to walk down this door to the no frills. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. <clears throat> so. We're uh... So we're stuck here. You and me. Just the two of us. It's just the two... And look, my head's in the wrong place. For crying out loud. Look at this. I put my head in there. Sorry about that. This whole video. Do I have to re-record it? I don't even know what's going on. This didn't make me happy. Shite, he talked in chat. I'm not happy. I'm not a happy person. An unfortunate defeat in the Caliban and my greatest tier 8 battle ever. 8.8k damage. Ace tanker, high caliber QB. Now you made some credit. Stop complaining, okay? Everyone complains. Complaining gets you nowhere. You can complain, nobody listens. What's the use of complaining? You gotta see the bright side. You made credits, right? You should change this title. Uh, an amazing game uh, that RNG handed to me because uh, some of the shots that I took had no business doing the damage they did. Uh, and Wargaming gave me a quarter million credits. CK. That should have been your title, right? <laughs> but you got featured anyway, right? Because I'm in a grumpy mood. Are you happy now? Uh, Pre-drag? Novi Sad from the OMJ clan. Shout out to you guys. Guys, at least send this guy a message and let him know that he's been featured today. Grumpy Klaus has featured this guy. All right, buddy? Are you happy now? Huh? Are you happy now? Maybe he'll even subscribe. 
Maybe. But well, maybe not. Maybe he'll say, oh, I didn't enjoy the feature. He, he was grumpy and he didn't talk about the strategy I used. He was talking about uh, cows and sheep and time changes and farmers and his sister. You know, have a cookie. <laughs>